it's you again. All right, listen to me, whoever you are. I have heard all those words before. <laughs> My father is a doctor. <laughs> see, see, you don't shock or provoke any of the responses that you're after. Yes, yes, I've heard that one, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, no, I hadn't heard that one. <laughs> Look, if you don't stop calling me every five minutes, I'm going to have to phone the police. Was that my mother? <laughs> Stupid, obscene phone call. It makes me so furious. Mary, 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 Mary. Rhoda. Hi, Phyllis. Mary, at last I can tell you. Tell me what? Well, it's so hard to put this into words. Mary, I've been studying real estate, and today I got my license. Then why aren't you wearing it on a little collar around your neck? <laughs> yes, Mary, I am now actually an official licensed real estate agent. Actually. Would you look at there? That's what it says, licensed real estate agent. Look at there, Rhoda. Phyllis Lindstrom. Oh, yes, yeah, see that? Spell correctly and everything. Hey, that's great. Well, I must say, just incidentally, Mary, you don't seem to be acting very excited about it. Oh, but Phil, I am excited. Really? Well, maybe not excited, maybe bored. <laughs> There's something I must say now. But I can't. I, I just can't. Don't ask me. <laughs> Okay. They tell you at real estate school that you should use your friends as contact. But I can't do that sort of thing. I can't use people. Good. Mary. Oh, I'm proud of you. Although, I think the other shoe was about to drop. <laughs> it wouldn't be actually using, not in the strict sense of the word, it would be more like helping each other. Truly realizing the meaning of the word friendship. But no matter, I, I can't do that. No, no, impossible, out of the question. No, nope. negative, nine, yet. But then again, wait a check, please. <laughs> Mary, I'm going to do it. I'm going to come to your newsroom tomorrow. I'm going to pounce on everybody. Please, please. I'm asking you, don't pounce. But Mary, I think I should at least talk to Lou. That poor man must be at loose ends, rattling around that great big house all alone. You did say his dear, sweet marriage bombed out. Phyllis, I did not say it bombed out. And I am afraid, Phyllis, that I cannot allow you to come to my newsroom and try to sell everyone I work with a house. Are you saying no to me? No, negative, nine, yet. <laughs> well, we'll talk about this later. I'll get it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Pardon me. This is a strange person, Mary. <laughs> Phyllis, just hang up. Uh, ex excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Could I ask you a personal question? Uh, do you own your own home or do you rent? <laughs> was robbed last night. Oh, that's all we need. I just don't understand what kind of people steal things from other people. Burglars, Mary. <laughs> Too bad they weren't kidnappers. <laughs> Something's wrong, I can sense it. <laughs> Television monitor's gone. All the electric typewriters are gone. It's the energy crisis, isn't it? <laughs> well, I know I do my part. Yesterday I took two bulbs out of my makeup mirror. Ted, the newsroom was robbed last night. It's terrible. Wait a minute. We're insured, aren't we? There's a form. There's got to be a form. You'll need insurance form uh, A-107. Oh, well, let's see. There's my new diamond wristwatch for $300, which you never saw. And the original oil painting signed by Picasso that I paid, uh, oh, let's say, $90. Oh, yes, all those Christmas gifts I bought for all you guys for next year. I was hiding them, you know me. 
And, uh, a tower mower I was gonna take home. Jed, um, I checked your dressing room, and all those things are there. <laughs> tower mower, sir? Yeah. The wristwatch thing, Diamond, and the... The Picasso? Uh, all right where you left them. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 well. What did they take? Nothing. That's incredible. Everyone in the building was hit. I wonder why they left you alone. Well, I figure... Uh, skip it. What? No, it's... Uh, uh, no. Mr. Grant, what is it? Say. Maybe they saw my high school football picture and uh, <laughs> my bowling trophy, and they, I figure the burglars liked me. <laughs> hi, 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 Mary. Hi, Lou. Oh, hello, Phyllis. Lou, Phil. I got a new hat. Huh. And whenever I get a new hat, I always feel like having an attractive man take me to lunch. Want to complete the picture? What did she say about a hat? Phyllis is asking you to lunch. Why? Okay, Lou. Oh, I hate doing this so flat out and ungracefully. But, Lou, I'm going to sell your house. Sell my house. Oh, I hated doing it so flat out and ungracefully. But, Lou, you see, I'm a licensed real estate agent now, and I know how tragically alone you must be now that your wife, let's face it, flew the coop. Phil is! <laughs> Mary, please. Lou's the sort of guy who appreciates refreshing honesty. So, anywho, how about it? Lunch today, Lou? Thank you, no, Phyllis. Okay, Lou, forget lunch. Let's talk house. I can get you $50,000. Come on, you can't give me $50,000. Lou, look into my eyes. <laughs> 50,000 smackers. 50,000? Smackers. <laughs> Think about it, Lou. 50,000. Big ones. <laughs> Oh, well, well, Phyllis, look at you. And Mary, you said she wouldn't know what to wear for selling houses. <laughs> I'm having a dinner party tonight, and Mary said I could dump my stuff here, Rhoda. Oh, look, Rhoda, here's one for you. <laughs> you fabulous, Phyllis, really. Mary, look, mm. how she worked it into the conversation with no words, the sign she had. Oh, Mary, I hope I can sell somebody at my party tonight. Somebody ought to be interested in something. Oh, I'm sure somebody will. Are well, you sure, Mary? Sure. You're just saying that, aren't you, Mary? Well, aren't you? Well, actually, Phil, I'm not sure somebody will be interested, but I certainly hope they will be. Sure, you hope, but you don't know. Hope? That won't do me any good. Hope, Phil, hope. Are you, oh, what's wrong? Why can't I sell anybody? Good Lord, doesn't charm count for anything anymore? <laughs> Mr. Grant. Hi, Mary. Hi, come on in. Uh, hi, fellas. Hello, Hi, Laura. Hi, Laura. Well, Phyllis. I thought about it and thought about it, what you said uh, earlier today at the office. And I figured $50,000 in a house that's too big for me. And I talked it over with a few friends of mine. So I'm going to do it, since everybody says I should. Don't kid me, Lou. It'd be cruel to kid me. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Lou, you'll sell. <laughs> moment. I can admit it now. Oh, for a long time, I thought it would never happen. I thought nobody would ever want to spend money for anything I ever did. Oh, 
Call me Crazy Phyllis. Crazy Phyllis. I tried writing, but nobody wanted it, so I laughed in that way I have and said, okay, so you ain't a writer. And then I tried sculpting, and nobody wanted it, so I tossed my head back and laughed in that way I have. <laughs> and, and I said, okay, so you don't have any sculpting talent. You ain't a sculptor. <laughs> and now I suddenly see what I was born to do, to sell real estate. Mr. Grant, to you sell, like a drink? And sell. Oh, thanks, I'll get it. And sell, and sell, and keep on selling till I drop. And now, right this moment, is my very first, my virgin sale. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad you're happy. <laughs> About it, call me later, we'll talk. Is Lou free, Mary? No, he's not in. Oh. Murray, did I give you my card? Phyllis Lindstrom, real estate. My card? Oh. Murray Slaughter, not interested. <laughs> well, Murray. <laughs> Just how long you took thinking of how to embarrass me this way. Well, I didn't mean anything, Phyllis. I, I was just kidding. I'm just curious, just intellectually curious about people who go out of their way to embarrass people. Oh, I was only kidding, Phyllis, really. I feel awful about this. Well, I'm forgetting the whole ugly episode ever happened. I forgive you. Ted's dressing room's in the studio, isn't it? Yeah, right in the front. You can't miss it. Although Ted often does. Mary, if we don't finish this new budget, we'll probably have to work at home over the weekend on it. Would you mind working Saturday morning? No, I don't mind, Mr. Grant. Well, why don't you come over tomorrow morning around 9? Oh, well, I have a date tonight. Oh. Okay, make it 9.30. <laughs> I guess, uh... Half hour isn't going to help, is it? <laughs> no, not a lot. <laughs> Keep it at nine. <laughs> there you are, Lou. Well, I finally have some prospects for the house. Where oh. will you be tomorrow morning? Oh, I'll probably be home working. Well, good. I'll see you then. Yeah. You know, when I bought that house, I paid $18,000 for it. And now it's worth $50,000. <laughs> Quit dreaming, Lou. You'll never get fifty for it. <laughs> <laughs> your breakfast. Don't need it. What's that? Where did you get that? I made it. What is it? Well, I figured you made me dinner so many times, I figured, uh, hey, it's no big deal. Come on. Would you look at that? You made me scramble. Omelet. <laughs> you see, what makes it an omelet instead of just eggs is the little pieces of onion and green pepper. Why, why didn't you think it was an omelet? Huh? What? Because I didn't fold it? Eh? Call it an unfolded omelet. I mean, I just can't picture it. Oh, I wish I could have been there, seeing you at the table with the knife, cutting up the green pepper and the onion into little pieces. <laughs> green pepper, little green onion. All right, Mary. I mean, you can't even get coffee for yourself at the office, and you made me a scrambled omelet. <laughs> Okay, Mary, enough egg talk. Aren't you gonna try it? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> There's something in these eggs besides green pepper and onion, isn't there? Beer. <laughs> What are you doing here? Well, you're moving it. I never saw your house. I've never seen it. 
I was wondering what the big secret was. <laughs> this is the big secret? It's not so hot, Lou. It's not as hot as I would have thought. Ted, a lot of people are going to be coming through here today thinking about buying this house, and I don't consider you as a selling point. Well, maybe I'm one of the people who might be interested in buying a little homestead. Oh, uh, Ted, you're not going to buy a house. You lease your shoes. <laughs> maybe I'm looking for a place for my mother, Lou. My small, elderly, gray-haired... Well, she dies at red, but underneath it's gray-haired mother. <laughs> right now, she's blowing her whole Social Security check on a crummy little apartment. I figure with a little more, she could rent this place from me. <laughs> Something wrong with these eggs. There's green stuff all over. <laughs> oh, well. Hi, hi. I'd like you to meet my young clients, oh. Rena and David Russell. Here's the owner of this little charmer, Lou Grant. Uh, hello. Hi. And this is his associate, Mary Richards. Hello. Oh, and this is... No, uh, don't tell me. I know you. You're, uh... Eric Severide, aren't you? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure to meet you all. Excuse me. Well, this is a nice place. You know, it has a nice feel about it. What do you think, Rena? I think it's great. I thought so the other day when we saw it. The important thing is what you think. I like it, really. Well, excuse us. You'd like to see the house again. I just want to show you the kitchen. Remember the patio out here? Mr. Grant made that little zone I hate having people in my house. I, I was just leaving, though. Oh, I didn't mean you. <laughs> What's in these eggs, anyway? Beer. Yeah, I know that. What are these green things? I think they're gonna buy. Do you realize? A thousand dollar commission. Oh, what'll I get with it? Mrs. Lindstrom, excuse me. What was the price again? Ah, uh, $42,500. $50,000. I won't sell it for a penny under 50. Nobody will ever pay 50 for it, Lou. Oh, we'd be willing to pay that. Of course. Who wouldn't? <laughs> Deal. Well, uh, we'll get out of your way now. Thank you, sir. It was nice to meet you. Yeah, same here. And, uh, it was a uh, pleasure, Mrs. Severide. Oh, hey, don't keep calling me Mr. Severide. Call me Eric. <laughs> Sign the papers. Oh, thanks for a lovely Saturday, Lou. Hey, we must make a tradition of this, you know, do it every weekend. <laughs> Jelly donuts and green eggs. <laughs> Mr. Grant, you feel bad that you sold the house? You got a good price. Yeah. Well, you uh, feel like getting some work done here? I don't feel like working, Mary. Well, then, maybe I'll just leave you alone to... I don't feel like being alone, Mary. <laughs> oh, Mr. Grant, I have an idea of what you're going through, and... I don't feel like talking. Okay. okay. <laughs> Mr. Grant, don't you think you ought to throw some of this stuff away before you pack it up? I want everything. It's all mine. I want it. Hey, watch it. A little more careful there, huh? Right. See the marks on this wall? Those are the heights of my children at various ages. Ruthie, Janie, Sarah. Mr. Grant, when was anybody ever that high? Well, that was little Sarah. She was too young to stand up. <laughs> Just how badly do you feel about leaving here? You, you look like you feel, um, pretty bad. Well, it's about time you ask me, Mary. I've been dropping little hints, waiting for you to draw me out to find out how miserable I am about all this. Well, why don't you just tell me, then, what's bothering you, instead of trying to make me feel guilty that I didn't ask you two minutes earlier? Oh, wonderful, Mary. This is the worst moment of my life, and you're going to pick on me. Well, yeah. why are you making me feel like I've done something wrong? Oh, sure, you haven't done anything wrong. Mm. Well, Phyllis is my friend, right? Oh, yeah. I see. So you're yelling at me because you can't deal with Phyllis. I can deal with anybody. Hi, hi. Except her. <laughs> oh, isn't this exciting? Lou, why the long face? Oh, Lou, come on. I want you to give me a little smile. 
Come on. <laughs> Just a little up at the edges. <laughs> That's right. Oh, Lou. Oh, you'll feel better once you're out of here on account of the memories. I like the memories. See that over there? That's where we kept the Christmas tree year after year. See over there? That's where my daughter got married. She was able to get married here because it was June and we didn't have the Christmas tree here. <laughs> See over there, that stain? Oh, little Sarah? No, the movers did it. <laughs> they don't care. They marched through your house in their white uniforms. They dumped your furniture on their truck, haul it to the next place, dump your furniture off the truck. They don't care. There's a life in this house. My life is in this house. I like this house. Oh. I never knew you felt like this, Lou. Now I need you to sign these papers, Lou. <laughs> Mr. Grant, you don't have to go. Mary. What? You don't have to go. If you're happy here, you should stay here. They're moving my stuff. The money's in escrow. And... That's not important. What's important is that you want to live in this house. Forget about the movers. Forget about everybody. Well, I'm sorry, Phyllis, but this is a lot more important. Mary, it's nice of you. And I'm sure Lou would want to stand here and listen to you all day long. But right now, he has these papers to sign. Come on, Lou. You come and sign these papers. Here. I, I have to go through this, I promise. You don't have to. I don't? No. I, I really don't, do I? I really don't have to do it. I don't need the money that bad. Sure, things are a little tight right now, but I'll make out all right. I don't have to do anything, right? Huh? <laughs> right. Hey, stop! Put it down! What? Put it down, I'm moving back. You're moving back? Yeah. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I never moved the guy back. Yeah? Well, just do it. Uh, what, 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 how, much, how, how much do I charge for travel time? I'm just here. do it. <laughs> All right. I got my house back. <laughs> Listen, I want you to give me a little smile. Come on. <laughs> Just a little at the edges. That's right. <laughs> Place to start to shape up again. Yeah, we should have it back together in a couple of hours. Uh huh. Oh, Lou, I just spoke to the two kids who almost bought your house, uh -huh. and I found the most wonderful place for them. Now, Lou. Yes, Phyllis. I'll never press the point, uh -huh. but just as a matter of information, just if you're ever on a quiz show and somebody asks you what happens if people back out of selling their house do they still owe the commission to the agent well just so you know it lou the answer is yes oh. it's yes lou. but i'll never press the point well that's really very decent